then why not try something similar like swimming? So what I brought for my objects are my medals um, for swimming. This one is for um, CIF for last year. This one is for one that I won in a relay. And this one's for being a timer. Um, I've been in like swimming probably for four, five years. Um, and then swimming is a great culture because Swimming is a great culture because it's a very handy sport, I guess, in a way, because you can get like stuck in the middle of the ocean and then help. <laughs> and then um, it also can be very difficult because in that type of setting, it's very competitive. Um, so your heart is like racing, your adrenaline is like up the roof and <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but it also teaches people like good skills, so like how to work with their body and their breathing. Um, what I will be discussing is the motivation that we have, some of the rules, some words that people that only in swimming culture know, um, and why am I in swimming culture. Swimming culture is a sport an athlete has to be in complete control in, with their body, including the breathe, their breathing movement, um, as like parts such as your arms and your legs, and also your lungs because it's useful. <laughs> um, swimming culture is difficult because not everyone can race in comp competitions, and most people don't understand the rules. For example, during a race, you have um, swimmers can't hold on to the wall, so they have to do something called a flip turn, which is when you're swimming, you have to like duck and then kind of like roll and like push off of your feet. So it's like hard. <laughs> It takes about like a few times to practice, so maybe like a week. Um, and then the op how the objects relate to my culture is um, that's like pretty much what we aim for. That's our goal during swimming. Um, everybody always tries to work their hardest to get the best times in order to be able to, to be accepted to go to CIF because it's only the top three people in that type of... Um, in either, like that type of, um, I guess that type of stroke. Um, so then, um, CIF is a city finals, which is not only just for swimming, it's for like all of other sports, including like soccer and stuff. Um, <laughs> how I am involved in the culture. I've been swimming for pretty much my whole life. It's a big passion of mine. Um, when I swim with my team members, it's like we used to swim for this competition. So we used to be there around 4.30 in the morning practicing until school started. So we would like go change, go to class, do everything, and then still come back after school so we could try to practice with the coach. Um, and then I've won about, I want to say, nine medals for CIF. Um, I've won for freestyle, for breaststroke, and I am, freestyle is just regular. The breaststrokes, it's kind of like a little frog that you have to, like, I don't know, <laughs> you just go like that, and then your feet, you kind of have to kick um, like a frog. And then IMs are four different types of strokes. And then... Um, how I relate to my object is um, after swimming season, that's pretty much, I mean, after water polo season, when you go into your swimming season, that's what we aim for and that's what I use as my motivation to keep on trying to do my best and my times. Um, because I've always <coughs> wanted to be like always in the top three because I've always wanted to go because the first year I didn't make it and I was so mad. Um, because they gave me like this little tiny one that was supposed to be for participation and I was like, no, I'm not getting that. I want to be one. <laughs> and in conclusion, even though swimming is hard, it's still a good sport like to be in a team, it's a group thing. And then um, you get to interact with a lot of people, you get to know your body more.